I always known this soup. This is mom's recipe. Uh, it's easy, delicious, cozy, uh, great for winter. It's one of those substantial soups which are a meal in itself. Uh, a bit of bread and cheese on the side and you're good to go here. Uh, I make this soup today with very lean beef means only 3% fat, but normally I make it with turkey or chicken means. Quite um, large to medium onions here. One will go in the mince itself, in our meatballs. And, and the other I will fry to make a base for a soup. It saves us all that chopping. So now a half of the our onions approximately, um, no need to be too precise here, will go to the bottom of the pan, right? I'm gonna cook them. So I'll blend mince with the onions. Today I'm using my old machine. And as for rice, no need for your best basmati. It's regular short grain or one of those creamy rices here. Uh, cheap rice, basically. So I like the texture of this meat. Very pliable, lovely, just what I want. If we don't have food processor, if we don't want to use it, sometimes Often it's easier to do it by hand rather than take the machine out. With very lean means. Okay, now I'm just adding my rice. Let's see how much we will take. Because obviously some of the rice goes in the soup itself. I think it's a mix of uh, parsley and coriander. Doesn't matter which. You can do something like that if you have time or inclination. Uh, it's generally very good for means. So we're done here. So what we need now, a board. Here it is. And um, wet hands. And the meatballs are not particularly small, actually. In fact, they're quite large. I have a tap running here. Or I have a bowl, a little bowl with the water. Handy, keep your hands wet. Okay. We don't want to see any cracks on our meatballs. See, completely smooth. And it's easy to do with the wet hands. Uh, normally I would have my onion already frying at the same time, but as I'm filming and don't want to burn anything, I'll first finish here. Because if you leave those little cracks, uh, they will just grow wider when you cook the soup. So we want it to be smooth like that. And quite large, as you can see. Uh, literally took us uh, five minutes to make those meatballs. Right, onions just cooking, so uh, normally I would chop those tomatoes, but we have um, on the go our food processor, we quickly put them through. And I would use tin tomatoes if I wouldn't have the fresh ones. Uh, just literally quick blitz. I don't want them particularly finally done. Uh, the kettle is on to save the time and I'm going to measure the water here to give you exact proportions. The remaining of the rice going in and I'm dropping uh, quite carefully the meatballs in before adding the rest of the water. Good family size pot here um, and of course soup keeps very well in the fridge because there is no obvious vegetables there I'm happy to keep it for a good few days 20 or so minutes later let's check the soup I, I was never sure with the rice and you measure it it always comes out wrong so I like my soups to be quite thick uh, so I think I'm going to add some fine bulgur here and by the way uh, many people cook this soup in, uh, with bulgur, fine bulgur rather than rice. The fine bulgur is a great thickener because it swells almost instantly and could be added at the very last moment. A couple of heaped tablespoons. Of, it swells a lot, so I better stop. A bit of salt. Uh, some fresh parsley at the ready. Soup is simmering about 35 minutes. It's almost done now. Uh, just about thick enough. Will be all right with lots of bread. It will thicken later though. Yeah, as you can see, they are nice and smooth. Parsley goes in. Uh, for the last couple of minutes, but we are not done quite yet. I never skip this step. It really makes the difference for the appearance of this soup. This is what my mother always does. So I have one beaten, uh, lightly beaten egg here. So we switched off uh, and I'm just adding a little bit of a uh, couple of spoons 
of that very hot soup and, and mix it well then add another couple of spoons and so on uh, keep blending the egg in and then just uh, in one go return everything back to the pan stirring all the time and the soup immediately becomes much prettier and, and it tastes better too Thank you.